So maybe, maybe I can talk to you this way. You can't block me on here, and you can't make me take the video down, so the truth and the facts will still be here. So either way, and I don't care if you respond. I've seen you out there riding your little four-wheelers, living your little life. That's cool. Anyways, let's just talk about this little shirt situation first. Well, no, hold on. We're going to push that back just a little bit. We're going to talk about KDL. You remember KDL where you started a riot, but yet and still you wanted all the fans to be safe, but you lied to them and didn't come back on the stage. We started a riot. We put everybody in danger. We were all in danger after that. Thanks for that, by the way. And who was that guy? Who was that guy that gave you that video evidence that you needed? I mean, I don't think it helped your ass out any because you still had to pay a whole bunch of money, didn't you? Yeah. I had to hurt the pocketbook. But that was me. Yeah, that's right. And I believe I still have the video where you sent me and you told me that all the time, VIP, just holla at your boy. You remember that? Probably not. You don't remember too much about the A1s that's been there from day one. But anyways, and your little nut riders are hitting me up, by the way, making threats. So, you know, all these people you're sending to do harm to me because, I mean, I do got the screenshot if you want to hang me from a cedar tree. Just like I got the screenshot of your mama slandering me. Just like I got the screenshots of your brother threatening me. I got all that, so we're good. But I saved your ass at KDL. And by the way, for y'all watching, an upchurch VIP pretty much consists of walking into the show free. You don't get to get nowhere near the motherfucker. He still hides back there. I mean, I understand why you took a year off. I mean, there's a couple of venues you've pretty much shit on and didn't hold up to your obligations. You pissed a bunch of people off in Kentucky who wanted to kill you. So you probably secluded yourself onto the ghost ranch and got all this protection around you, which I don't blame you. I mean, you know, if I had a bunch of crazy motherfuckers after me too, I'd probably do the same thing. But anyways, <clears throat> moving along, let's talk about this shirt that you and your mom were so disrespected by. For one, it wasn't your mom's place, your brother's place, or your farmhand's place to have to handle your business. I wouldn't have had to message a whole bunch of people if you knew how to respond to fans, but you fucking don't. The only way you respond to people is either A, on your Facebook page where you can get all your nut riders to help you bash someone, or B, on Instagram. I mean, excuse me, this is YouTube. Like I said, I don't use this motherfucker. I don't live on here like you do. I'd rather go jack off in a corner. But either way, the shirt was a picture of your grandfather. Now, I had no way of knowing that that was the actual obituary picture because you don't respond to motherfuckers. I don't know why. Maybe your ego's a little bit bigger than your fan base now. But that's cool. I don't give a fuck how big your ego is, how big your fan base is. And I'm still going to listen to your music, just so you know. And I hope that eats you up. But I'm only going to listen to it because it's free on YouTube. I wouldn't spend one goddamn red cent on that. Just so we're clear on that. Never have, actually. Never will. And as far as your fans hitting up other people, talk about you're going to sue over this shirt. Well, you can't. You can't. The shirt was... That shirt, excuse me. The picture was sent to me through someone else. But here's here's my problem with it. It was disrespectful. You did it in a disrespectful fashion. You could have hit me up yourself as a man. I mean, I'm assuming you got nuts. Either that or your mama's still holding them. I'm assuming you got nuts. And you could have hit me up as a man... It said, hey, man, I appreciate that. Thank you for the thought, but I just don't really want that shirt. It brings back memories, whatever. You know, it's the picture from that bitch where you could have approached it a different way, but you didn't. You wanted to be all disrespectful, or excuse me, have your people be disrespectful for you because you can't seem to talk for yourself here lately. You know, you got to have your fans or your family, whatever. I don't give a fuck. Fuck them and you. But, and did you, I mean, you told me you was going to hang me from a cedar tree. All I know is Simba and them better watch out because cedar tree hangings, rebel flags, maybe Screwface was just a little bit right. No, I, I can't call you racist. I've been around you too much. Way too much. Can't call you racist. That'd be a lie. All this other shit I'm saying is not a fucking lie. You owe artists, numerous artists money that you promised them off of revenues from certain tracks. And I'm not going to name those artists. That's between you and them. I've been around, man. I hear shit. I know shit. So it's not like I'm speaking on shit I don't fucking know. You owe people money. Ain't no telling how many other people you owe money, but you definitely owe a few artists money for facts. Those are big fucking facts. And, you know, these artists continue to work. They don't take time off to make shitty YouTube videos and to make fun of people who speak their mind because apparently you don't like that either. You don't want to by speaking their mind about the great almighty upchurch. Well, let me, get, let me, let me just let me fill you in. You put your goddamn pants on one leg 
at a time. Either that or your mama has to do it after she changes your diaper. I don't know. But I'm going to assume you're a man too, right? You claim to be. But why would you be so disrespected by a shirt, regardless, with the picture of the man who you claim in your songs made you who you are today? Because if that's the case, he made you a straight-ass fucking coward. 100%. He probably is rolling over in his grave right now because you turned down something that was all about him. That was a shirt for your birthday about him from somebody who thought you would like it. And there's a lot of people close to your circle that your mama said I so-called harassed who also thought you would like it. Just, Just so you know, some of your people thought you would like it too. But guess what? They were wrong, and so was I, and so was everybody else. So now that shirt is a controversial shirt that I will be burning on YouTube later. And I just hope and pray that the ashes from that shirt float up into the fucking heavens. And maybe they'll reach it to your grandfather. Maybe they'll reach to your grandfather. Or maybe the smoke will make it to your granddad. And maybe he will actually fucking appreciate something that your ass was too goddamn good to accept.